Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you how you can transfer pretty much all of your data from one iPhone all the way to another iPhone. Now this process is very easy, especially if you're on iOS 15. Now if you just bought a brand new iPhone, you may have an iPhone like an iPhone 8 or whatever it is like this one. Now if you're setting it up for the first time, you will have the option to transfer your data from your one iPhone to the other. And it will look like a panel just like this. So if you put up two iPhones next to each other, the real iPhone that you have here, you basically get up this panel. And you can go ahead and you know go through that and set up your iPhone as a new iPhone and transfer the data that way. But also when you boot up your iPhone, you can get into this specific panel, which will allow you to transfer your iPhone and also wirelessly transfer your iPhone as well, which is another really awesome thing that you can do. So when you first set up your iPhone, you have that capability. But now with iOS 15, there is another cooler feature, which let's say you bought an iPhone like an iPhone 10 or and you want to trade it in for an iPhone 12. Well, you can either back up that iPhone via iPhone cloud you know or your computer but you also have this new option so let's make our way over to our settings app which is you know you have to be on iOS 15 to do this you want to scroll down to general which is right here you going to scroll down until you see reset which is right here and you will see this option at the very top that says prepare for a new iPhone so what does this mean well essentially if you click on it it will go ahead and tell you that you'll actually be able to store your all your data on your iPhone and make a temporary backup of your iPhone for the next 30 days. So whether you're trading in your iPhone or whatever the case is, you, you don't have to have a backup of your phone, you know, on your computer or your iCloud. You can do it through here, which is still an iCloud backup, but save yourself from having to, you know, transfer all your data and all that stuff beforehand. So you want to go ahead and click done and it's going to go ahead and start actually making that backup. Now it'll go ahead and notify you whenever that's done. I've already done a backup. All you would have to do is when you boot up your iPhone for the first time and you go to set it up, you just have to say you already have an iCloud backup available and it's going to show you that backup from the beginning with that you just made today or whenever it was. So that's pretty much it. That's another super easy way that you can go ahead and you know back up your iPhone and transfer your data from one iPhone to the other. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.